Oh, hey, welcome back. Let's do something on the bus. Can you believe that my windows are still leaking? If you've converted a bus before, you probably, whoa, you probably can believe it. I can't believe it though. I can't believe I'm still working with little leaky windows. I've dealt with it for so long because it's such a small amount of water every time it rains. It really depends on what direction it's raining in. But I believe that it's these seals right here. See these guys right here? Some of these are a little bit loose. They're all very old. I've just had a little bit of water will seep in there and it'll seep up the seal on the other side and go into the bus. Obviously we can't let that happen forever. I spent a lot of time experimenting with products and I'm gonna show you the one that I'm gonna end up using. This is called GeoCell ProFlex. It's made for RVs. It stays elastic. It stands up to UV. It seems like a great product. I bought it in clear. It really does come on clear. I'm gonna use a paintbrush to paint it on. And hopefully this will solve that seal problem. Aiden doesn't think I should waste your time by showing me cleaning windows. <laughs> don't forget to clean. Ain't it a tree when you don't understand? Ain't it a tree when you don't understand? Okay, I ran out of tape. I found some more tape, but I really hate taping. I like painting. I just. I hate taping. Ain't it a tree when you don't understand? Ain't it a tree when you don't understand? I got a face on the back of my eyes. I did the back four windows freehand and I'm doing the front windows taped off. I want from the inside there to be like a nice clear line and, and I'm not doing a good job of filming. And this is a yo-yo. Gotta get this off before it dries. Wow, it's drying quick. I'm tempting fate and service in the mire. We gotta raise just to clean up our mind. So all the windows are done. I really hope that stops the last time I leaks. But this is what it looks like on the inside. When it's taped off, basically you can't see it, which is great. And we've got this hatch has got a little leak sometimes right here. I think I know why that's going on. More water problems. Yesterday I resealed the bottom rubber seals of the windows and today it's just pouring rain. I came into the bus thinking, you know, maybe most of my leaking problems will be solved. I also um, put some more Dicor in the back of the hatch and uh, everything's worse. I don't know if it's just because there's so much rain right now. The hatch is leaking in two locations. I think I'm gonna have to uninstall this whole hatch and do it again. Front window, just a little bit damp in the corners. Okay, second window, I don't know, I think it's dry. Dry. This is where I get all this dripping down fifth and sixth. We still have the same problem. You know, I think it comes from the seals still, but I'm not sure. So I really haven't solved anything. It's a little bit damp, seems to be dry, seems to be dry. Yeah, in the corner right there and here. The door right now is pretty much dry. It's wet at the corner, wet. All right, this is my big problem window. So I took this whole wall panel off because I was getting so much water down here and inside there you can see a little bit of water and it's dripping really fast. I don't know what to do about this, guys. This is gonna be my last video for a little while because me and my family are gonna go visit our family in Philadelphia, spend some time away from Charleston. It's basically gonna be like our vacation. Six months ago, I resealed these windows and I still have problems with them. They're still leaking a little bit. I'm gonna be going for three months, not three months, three weeks. And oftentimes little problems turn into big ones, especially when they involve water. Usually I'm around to kind of manage it. Well, I mean, we really haven't had any big problems except for today. All of a sudden today, I did all that work to reseal yesterday and today there's a big problem. One of these windows is leaking a ton. So I'm frustrated. I don't know what the heck to do. You know, the right thing to do is just sheet metal over everything and put in RV windows. I mean, that's something that I can't accept. Like I've got to be able to seal these windows somehow. I'm gonna go talk to Jeff. Okay, it's done raining for a while and I went next door and I talked to Jeff and you know Jeff from the ceiling video. That was our last video. I keep going and asking Jeff about things because he, he's just got so much experience with everything. So what Jeff said basically was when I reinstalled these windows, I sealed the bottom and I should not have done that because now if, if water and water will get through things and it's got to find its, its path out, what he suggested I do is that I uninstall 
I do think that a lot of this would have been avoided by not sealing this bottom piece. So I kind of recommend that you don't seal that bottom piece. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I already made a video showing you how to do this and I feel like I failed you. I'm sorry about that. I always say like some of the times I know what I'm doing and sometimes I'm gonna make mistakes. So, you know, I really wish that you could just count on me to always be right. Like, I wish I could give you that, but I can't give you that. Maybe someday I'll be an expert at this. Or maybe I'll do it once and all these skills would be sort of useless. Moving on to trying to solve this problem instead of crying about it. I am going to take off some of this sealant right here. So I have basically attempted to clear out the sealant from here to here. Hopefully everything that's traveling down here, if it finds its way into the window, it's not going to trap here and go back up. It's just another way that the water is possibly getting in, but I really don't know for sure. So I've done these two. You know, if you look at my seals, you know, the reseal job I did, it looks like it's okay, like it's really beating water. I think I did a good job with that. This is com com complexing stuff, convoluting. I'm not a linguist. All right, so front hatch is leaking. What happened with this hatch is that I left the stainless uh, steel screws in the hinge because I was afraid of them breaking off and they didn't actually hold the hatch in. When this is opening and closing, this was jerking around a little bit. It broke the seal. And now I can't get sealer behind the hinge in order to seal it, which unfortunately means that this hatch has got to come off. This is my other major water problem that I really want to fix before I get home. It really, really sucks that I have to do this. By the way, Jaden, thanks for forgetting to take your sunglasses. Somehow they fit my head, you're a little boy. I just thought about something, I can't believe I didn't realize this. I can just take this whole piece off, get in there and seal it. Ain't it a treat when you don't understand? Ain't it a treat when you don't understand? I can't believe I didn't think about that, it's funny. All right, so this may be my main culprit. Water is clearly getting it through here, but where I see it the most is here and here. So it might be traveling all the way down here. I really can't find anything else that would allow water in except for maybe. I'm gonna cover all this in sealant. I'm gonna reinstall that hatch and hopefully I'll be good to go. that hatch is gonna be okay now. All right, same night, here I am back on the bus. It's pouring rain again. Awesome, I'm so glad it's pouring for once. Okay, one, at least I got one small victory. The hatch is completely dry. Okay, this is the one that gets a lot of wet. Yeah, so, still wet. I haven't solved the problem, which sucks. Okay, I definitely gotta work on this seal before I go. So I haven't solved the leaky, the leaky uh, window problem which is just continuing to be a huge drag. But I did solve the leaky hatch and it was actually a really easy fix. I feel a little bit better about leaving, but I don't know what to do, guys. I think I need your help. Why are these windows leaking? Help me out. So yeah, like I said, this is the last video for a while. And we're actually leaving for Philadelphia today in like an hour, an hour and a half. We're gonna drive uh, tonight. We'll hopefully get there about two or 3 a.m. But there's one last thing that I really wanted to get done before we go, and that's I gotta redo this door seal. When I installed this door seal, I decided to cut these corners instead of wrapping them around, and that was just the wrong thing to do. A little bit of water would come in here, and then it would travel down the seam on the inside. Mostly it would go out, but gotta redo it. So so that's like the last thing I'm gonna do before I go. You know, I'm, I'm upset that the windows aren't perfect, but I don't know how to solve the problem. I'm gonna be researching and thinking about it while I'm gone. weather stripping on the bottom for now because if by chance any water does get in here instead of pulling here it will just drip out onto here and down there so hopefully that problem is solved bye Gilligan